Greetings to all data geeks and data beginners out there. I'm Jana Batalova. I manage MPI's Migration Data Hub. With immigration featured prominently in the media and daily conversations in many countries around the world, it's more important than ever to have access to accurate, timely, and authoritative information. Granted, there are tons of data across the internet, but where shall we start? Right here, of course. Our Immigration Data Matters Guide offers more than 220 US and international data resources covering a wide range of topics from migrants and refugees to international students, citizenship and religious affiliation, enforcement statistics, and much, much more. The guide sends you straight to data tables, maps, charts, and visualization tools. We search the web to find the most reputable governmental and non-governmental resources. The guide is free and available at migrationpolicy.org forward slash data matters. Let me walk you around a little bit. And I should note that we were proud to develop this guide with our colleagues at the Population Reference Bureau with whom we launched an earlier Data Matters Guide in 2008. So let's start with the table of contents. On the left, we showcase our US data resources. And on the right, you will find top-line global migration statistics as well as available data by region and country. Let's see, for example, what we can find for Greece, which has been in the news a lot lately because of the arrival of tens of thousands of asylum seekers. The first resource we will look at is from the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, which has a wealth of maps and other information organized by country. For Greece, for example, UNHCR has a map displaying the number of asylum seekers relocated from Greece to other European Union countries. The second resource is the data collected by the Greek government. This link will bring you to a bunch of charts displaying stats on asylum seekers, on accompanying minors, and much more. Now, moving across the Atlantic, let's say you are from Minnesota and you are interested in the number and characteristics of immigrants living in your state. These data are collected by the U.S. Census Bureau and can be accessed via the American Fact Finder. But for a quick table, I recommend you visit an MPI Migration Data Hub tool called State and Immigration Data Profiles. Click on Minnesota, and here you will find a table with demographic and social characteristics of immigrants in the state that can be compared to the US-born population. And on the right, you will find a menu that also allows you to select information on language and education, workforce, and income and poverty characteristics. Everything in one place. And here is a good tip. Data for the United States and other countries can also be found in the international data sources, such as UNHCR or the World Bank. These are great resources, especially if you are interested in comparing one country to another. We hope that the Immigration Data Matters Guide will be helpful as you poke around and search for the stats that you need. And of course, we have tons of US and global migration data on MPI's Migration Data Hub, which you can find at migrationpolicy.org forward slash data hub. Happy data exploring.